Yo folks and welcome to the channel, my name is Borg and today is going to be covering J Dynasty, a mobile MMORPG with some gotcha light mechanics by Perfect World. I'm going to be on server 7, let's go ahead and start our journey so I can show you guys what the gameplay and all the things are about. So this is going to be a character that I've already created, I'm level 41, but let's go ahead and go through the character creation process. So there's going to be a bunch of different classes such as, you know, the Jayon, which is DPS, Lupin, who's a seal, like debuffing character, there's the Incense, and then there's also going to be like the Vim. There's all sorts of characters in this game. Just note they're not gender locked, so you can switch between male and female for some classes. You have someone like the Sky Song who can actually become like a Shibi male version, which is kind of cute, I would say. And then there's going to be so many different things that you can essentially choose. I don't get why this one's called the Longevity because their survivability is good, but they're mostly known for their seal ability. They have someone like the Poisoner and then also the Southern Border. So there's a lot of different things you can essentially experience with this game, I hope everyone sort of gives it a try. Let's go ahead and go into the character customization. And there's gonna be a lot of like different hairstyles. There is also like an extensive sort of customization feature where you can make your characters look kind of funky. You can spin like certain things. You can, you know, extend like their cheekbones. It's kind of crazy how much the customization is available within this game as far as like the character creation process even goes. So we're gonna hit done right there and you can break the character. But just note, there is gonna be a bunch of presets. I remember there's like a random one, like it can like sort of give you. So it's up to you what you sort of wanna do and how you wanna play this game, the way you wanna experience this, that, and the third. But I thought like just this part alone was kind of cool because I know a lot of people can spend like, you know, probably hours upon hours just trying to create the perfect character. And just know you can, you know, customize the chibi versions and also, you know, the little chibi female versions as well. But let's jump into the gameplay so you guys can see what this is all about whether it's for you. Because when it comes to this, I would say Jade Dynasty isn't that different as far as like most MMORPGs on mobile goes. There's a lot of autoing, there's a lot of quest lines, but what's really nice here is the visuals are pretty nice to look at. And not to mention there is sort of like a storyline that you can sort of understand. It's your sort of tropey Wuxia, Mort of CN sort of thing. If you don't know what it means, it's like you're a disciple under like a god, you know, someone betrays you, there's like some sort of like beast, there's like cultivating. If you've never experienced that sort of story format, this will be a brand new experience. As far as the translation go, it's okay. It's nothing like, oh, this dialogue is like mind bending or anything. But what's really nice is like the actual MMORPG experiences when you're trying to complete certain quests within the game. I'm not talking about like the generic ones right here. You can obviously see there's like other characters with me, like Biao, Zhang Jiafang, and then there's only Faith, which is the character that I'm controlling. Right now, we're gonna fight this Abyssal Viper. I think I'm saying that right. And look at all the enemies that you're essentially going up against. So when it comes to this, you're gonna have like a bunch of different units. You can either like play it on auto or you can play it on manual. I'm gonna turn off auto just so you guys can sort of see what that looks like. And there's gonna be a bunch of flashy skills. That's why I sort of like this MMO RPG experience. I don't recommend it for everyone, but I do like it for what it pretty much leaves for a lot of people. Because a lot of the times when I play an MMO RPG, I'm like, okay, I'm hitting buttons. I have no idea what's going on. Here you can sort of tell like, you know, certain people are doing debuff, certain people are doing AOEs. It's visually pleasing just to look at actual auto mechanics. A lot of the times when I play MMORPGs, I have like almost zero attachment to any of the characters. I have zero attachment to my own character. I have no idea what's going on in the story. No idea what the enemies look like. Everyone sort of looks the same. Here there's enough variety. There's enough like, you know, detail where I'm like, oh, I can sort of gravitate towards this. So you can, you know, select move, you can support, you can do like a single target attack. For me personally, I think single target attacks are pretty cool mostly because of the fact that they actually deal like lots of damage. You can do like a thunder attack. You can also select your like beast right here and you can choose the targets and stuff. But that's like usually the extent you can defend or protect someone. But let's go ahead and select this thing. And then for the other characters, you can't really control them. But just know these are other heroes that I selected. We'll go in the hero selector a little bit later. 
But for me, what really shines for J Dynasty is how visually stunning the game looks, in my opinion. I know the capture of like the way it looks right now, it doesn't really do it justice. But to me, there's a lot of detail when it comes to like, for example, this sort of demon beast orc guy with like the double axe. There are people with like little swords, the little like, I guess, I don't know, ornaments behind like their backs. I just like the way this game looks. I think it's a personal preference thing. It might not be for everyone. And of course, you can collect waifus, you can collect his bond. I would say even though they have like these certain faces, everyone looks the same in some ways. I'm not gonna say like everyone looks super different like facial wise, but everyone's armor looks very detailed and you can jump between menus in case like oh, I'm a little bored. I don't know what to do, you know, while everyone's doing their auto thing. You can like check up on quests. You can read up on like quest lines. If you're wondering how do I do that, double click the quest menu and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do a bounty quest the daily. I'm gonna do my main quest. I'm gonna do some equipment crafting. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game. You can also like jump into parties with people there's raids there's guild events all sorts of things I was actually jumping into like the devil suppression sort of order. And it's weird because I know like a lot of you guys want some more of an interactive experience while you're playing like the RPG. But for the most part, it's mainly like an auto game like Princess Connect or like AFK Arena. Not like AFK Arena because it's a little bit more different with the way you upgrade like characters and stuff. But I would say it's more akin to like those auto battlers. Nothing really crazy there. Oh my gosh, I have no idea like what this person sort of cast, this Jadeon character, but he just summoned like 10 versions of himself and it's these little things that I really like about the game because it's surprising me with the amount of skill that you have within like the character's repertoire because I want to unlock a skill where I can summon like 10 versions of myself and then you know you sort of go through the story there's like a lot of different things I feel like it's immersive enough for a mobile game because there's not a lot of mobile games that sort of nail this process where, oh, it's an MMORPG, there's a bunch of flashy things, but I can't even sort of nitpick the story in some ways. And you can also move around in case you want to do that. You can also fly it on a sword in case you want to do that as well. There's like a little MP bar or something. And in case you're like, oh, I like jumped off the quest, you can just click like the main quest icon and it'll auto path you to like the areas. And then now we've completed the chapter five, which is event on the demon lord and just note you can also like sort of walk around in case you're like oh i don't want to go on the auto path you can open you know the actual open world and let's say you want to go to like the moonlight forest sometimes you can actually like see bosses within like the overworld maps so for example, I can go to like the beast god and then my character will auto path towards where the beast god is. Some of the bosses you can actually fight. So to me, it feels like an open world experience. And like I said, you can also join people's teams. So you have applied to join XYZ's team. And what's really nice is when you join a team is you'll essentially be getting, you know, auto EXP because the person will be doing their quest line or whatever. And you're essentially just following them on their path and on their journey because right now I'm not controlling anything so it's sort of a good way to like afk train as long as the person is constantly doing something you know i think that's really cool because there's not a lot of games that nail this sort of right and what's really nice is i get to sort of experience the game at different segments and not to mention you can do raids together you can help out your friends i think for like a mobile mmorpg there doesn't seem to be as a seamless of process in order to actually participate with your friends and actually engage in combat help them out in quest lines like this it seems pretty streamlined because you can technically like add friends within like this sort of system. There is like the guild right here. So you can enable like voice chats and I guess you can also talk to the team, but this is all like voice stuff. Here it is, the friends. So you can add people as friends. Let's say I'm like, oh, I think this person's cool. I'll add them as a friend. And then, you know, they'll see my friend request. I've even gotten like messages where like, hey, I asked someone for help and they'll like chat around. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, I need help on this thing. And then I'll help them on this thing. But a lot of these messages are like auto-generated. For a mobile MMORPG, it nails the basic mechanics rights. I know it's not like the most amazing thing, but when I sort of look at this one and I sort of understand what's going on internally, it seems kind of nice. Let's go ahead and show you guys the summoning portion of the game and the different characters you can sort of collect. So this is gonna be an A rank unit. This is gonna be an SS rank unit, Biao. You can see like they're gold. This is like an S rank unit, so purples. And like the highest rarity are going to be like the red ones or triple SS. In my opinion, I think you want more of like support characters like Ning Wu Yun. If I were to give you like tier list, mostly because the support's able to keep you alive. And I guess you could sort of pick what you sort of need because everyone 
everyone doesn't always need like a poisoner like this person or like a physical based character not everyone needs like you know a magic or i think i'm forgetting like all the different class names but it's up to you what you need obviously the ss characters are all going to be the best pretty much my main character i would probably go for is someone like ningu yun because he's going to be a support and supports are sort of universally needed and then you go into this visit portion right here in order to summon so you get like a single free one i think throughout the day so this is a single visit and the summon animation i won't lie to you it looks pretty nice in that regard i guess this is like an item that you can get so not all the time you can get a hero and then let's do a 10 visit so i'm gonna need 275 of these I don't have that. You can do like open partner challenges. You can technically acquire like certain characters for free. I guess this is like farming characters light mode, but just know there's gonna be a limit on how many times you can like essentially farm them. And not to mention there is a requirement rating or a suggested requirement rating in order to get them. But it's kind of interesting. You can approach it from that standpoint. Definitely like this character. So I might try to get a copy of her, but let's go ahead. Mm, I don't have like this. So we're just gonna do single summon. See if we can get a hero. I wanna do a 10 summon just so I can see what it looks like, but I don't know if I wanna play the game that much longer. You know, this video isn't sponsored. I just wanted to see if this MMORPG was worth a try and in my opinion it was worth something because there's not a lot of games where i can essentially join someone's party help them out in a quest or technically sometimes in some raid factions you are forced to join a party in order to participate so i didn't get a single summonable character which is rather unfortunate which tells me like the rates are like relatively low so from summoning perspective i would not suggest it there is like sort of a pity system so for each summon you get like five of like these little i guess summon pity crystals or whatever and then this is how you can get you know i guess some of like the best characters maybe like the vim partner would be a little bit better because they're going to be more dps oriented and you might want the loom for something else that's going to be like the character types and as you can see we're still jumping in here we're still like helping out this person or technically they're helping me out because i'm getting exp while i don't have to do anything so there's so many different ways you can essentially participate in the game and there is one more thing that i wanted to show i'm gonna go ahead and jump out yeah i'm gonna leave my current team oh my gosh i can't do it until after the battle ends but this character that they're facing looks kind of cool baisha oh my gosh this person is thick thick and everyone's like pretty high level except for me i'm like level 41. This game, it doesn't do anything amazing as far as like an MMORPG. I won't say it's like riveting gameplay, but what I like about it is the fact that it actually works as an MMORPG on the mobile fronts. The fact that I could probably, you know, be like, hey, friendo, can you download this game? I'll join your party while I'm like cooking dinner or whatever. And then when you're cooking dinner, when you're eating, I can do quest lines so you can do like, you know, more EXP stuff where your character is constantly making gains. There is like a world boss sort of feature in some regards because you can you know, fight with your friends or whatever. But there we go. We defeated Baisha right there. My character leveled up because I was hanging out with them. The thing that I want to show, you can jump here into events. You can do like devil suppression orders, right? And then you can sort of do an auto matchup. And then essentially you can go with someone complete a raid on someone else's terms which i think is really cool so this is gonna be like someone else's devil suppression sort of deal it's sort of like the same thing where i was like you know auto questing with someone else based off the different quest lines that i was sort of picking but i just want to show that one more time in case you guys were curious is this an actual mmorpg Yes, it's probably like the best one to nail it as far as mobile fronts in my opinion. But anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. And once we hit 30,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Just know that there is like a bunch of packs and stuff, but I would ignore it. You don't really need it to play the game, but yeah. It's a fun one. I won't say it's gonna keep you over. It's not like the best MMORPG. It's an MMORPG nonetheless that I found palatable to play for a couple of hours. See you guys.